a little fire him. Welcome back guys. It is uh, February the 8th. It is Tuesday and uh, you're watching Triple R Farms and my name is Daniel. Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, it's going to be a wet day today. Uh, there will be no spraying. Uh, there's just rain on the weather out. The future view has got rain coming in here this morning. Pretty much going to um, stay wet pretty much all day. So uh, no spraying today but we're still going to get some stuff done we're going to go down to gray rocks i don't know if you watched the video a couple weeks ago uh we were down at gray rocks and uh one of our land all disc uh the carrying wheels uh part of the frame and that leg that comes down that holds the carrying wheels anyway it is all torn up it is bent so uh, me and dad are going to load up the torch uh we're going to go down there and try to cut it off and get the carrying wheels off and bring it home and see if we can straighten it gonna be a short crew today uh only other person we got working is james he is uh gonna take the peterbilt down to blackwell's bend and get my water trailer from down there and then he's also gonna wash up my rogator when he gets back so um the rest of the guys are off it's just gonna be a terrible day to, to work so uh we thought we'd give him the day off so we gotta load up the torch uh load up whatever else we need cardboard and stuff and um then we're gonna head to Gray Rocks. I got Lucy with me again. Lucy, you wanna say anything? See, it's already raining right now. Let me tell you about yesterday. Uh, when the video ended, uh, everything went haywire. I was, uh, last thing I did yesterday afternoon is um, I was putting some tools back in my truck and uh, then dad came over there he wanted to borrow some uh, ratchet straps from me, and I had just gotten an email on uh, Gray Rocks, the soil samples and uh, lime needs. So I was looking at that while I was putting to tools up and getting the straps out of my toolbox. And uh, I think I laid my phone down right here. Then I went to uh, leave to go home, riding down the highway. I looked down in my truck. I don't have my phone. Turned around, came back to the shop, looked in all the tractors, looked everywhere in the shop, uh, could not find it. And uh, anyway, we found it last night. Yeah. So it is completely ruined. So obviously it rode on the side of my truck and then it decided to fall off uh, on the highway about a mile down the road. But what was so crazy about it is that I was trying to use my iPad yesterday afternoon. To, you can use that Find My Phone app. And I was trying to use the iPad to find to locate it. And it just so happens that where it fell off the truck, it is a dead zone. Verizon dead zone right there. And it would not pull it up. It would not pull it up. So I thought a, a truck you know it already run over or something it was just completely smashed but uh last night at like 7 30 all of a sudden my ipad started going off notifications about that find my phone and it picked it up and it was on and it was giving me a location exactly where it was and it was saying it was right on the side of that four lane highway out there and uh like i'm talking about like right on the edge of the road so I live about 45 minutes away from the shop. So I was debating whether to get in the truck and go. I said, well, let me call dad, see where he is, see if he wants to go look for it because we had rain coming in at some point. And if it was still working, I was gonna go try to ride down there and find it before it rained. You know, the rain messed it up. So I called dad, he got in the truck, he went down there, I had it playing music. And anyway, long story short, he found it on the side of the road, but um, at like 7.30, 7.45 last night. But still ruined, but at least we found the phone. Nobody stole it or anything and stole all my information. So basically, I got to go get a phone today. All right, let's get to Gray Rocks. Oh, 
Look how good those lights look. Oh yeah. Lights look good. That tailgate comes open. We're in trouble. You shut it hard, didn't you? Yeah. Get something to lay on. It's gonna be wet. Cardboard. Cardboard. Here is what we got. This piece right here. I don't know if you can tell, but this whole arm, these ears that come down. I don't know if that bolt is broke, but something happened right in here and the ears are bent weird. And anyway, we gotta cut this, cut this arm off. Take the tires off first. And then go from there. Go from there. told you that day we were down here, I, the, the wheels never lifted up. So it was hitting me. No, I mean, that one's on the crash. Um, certainly we can dig out. Why we needed a jack. Well, Lucy, this is your time to dig. Hey. It's moving. It's moving. Look at there. Oh, that's a big tire. Yours are all? Yeah, keep it. Look at that. Alright Chief. I'll probably have to stand on it. Hey, 
Mm -hmm. Let me see the hammer. Go get your hammer. We can't get the rain to stop. It had just been raining non-stop. Dad had enough of it. We sat in the truck probably about, I don't think it was 10 minutes, maybe 10, may have been 15, somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes. And he said, I've had enough. I'm going to finish cutting with the torch. But <laughs> So we got out there and then it, sure enough, it started raining hard again. So we're back in the truck. Good night. Look at all the dirt he got on my truck. Yeah. All we're trying to do is get that pin out and it is giving us so much trouble. It's got these bushings and stuff in the middle of it and I think they are just seized on to that to that bolt. Probably uh, due to not greasing enough. Uh, we didn't even know it had grease fitting on the bottom of that rocker shaft. But um anyway it is just giving us you know what trying to get that thing off um, but we got we're about as close as you can get to getting the thing off we've cut and cut and hopefully things about to drop down if we can just get out there for just a little bit and uh finish cutting probably like a half inch off that bolt then the thing should drop all the way to the bottom we think the uh what was worn out was all these bushings and stuff in there inside the rocker shaft um the arm the actual arm that comes off the frame that has the two ears that has the bolt that goes through it anyway we think all that uh looks okay so that is good that we do not have to cut all that off um anyway we'll know a lot more when we get the rocker shaft off but um looking at it right now dad we think we think it's okay which is really good i mean just gonna be a a easy fix and a uh, not expensive fix because it could have been a lot worse so um anyway we'll get back after it when the rain stops let's check out the uh gunner kennel see how dry it is in here oh look lucy you dry as can be in here how about that that's what i love about these kennels is somehow it just sheds rain and uh if you do get rain in here, it drains out the back. Got a drain plug back there, never stays wet. Love these things. See, there's not an easy cut because there's nowhere for the flux to go. I mean, uh... What do you think? It, it, it's got a bend there, but I think it's made that way. You 
It's made that way because it's bent out the same way on each side. Yeah. If it was bent like either this way, then this one would be slanted. You know, the whole thing would be slanted that way. Yeah. I, I think it's all right. I think we'd get a new pin and a rocker. Put it back in there. So this is what was worn out. What happened? The bushings wore out. They got dry. And broke. And the bushings that are in this rocker shaft. And lit it. Anyway, that's why it was at a bad angle, because there was nothing in here holding it anymore, and it had it. It Too had it wobble. Had it really cocked at a wobble. If that makes sense. It has bearings. Got a bearing in it. Yeah. It's a bearing. Bearing went out. What's it got one? You got to tilt it over and not let it catch you hanging. Oh, you all right? Yeah. You don't tie it or anything? Uh-uh. So, all right, guys, we got it off. Uh, it was a challenge, but we got it. Uh, I got it loaded up in Dad's truck. He's going on to the shop. Uh, it's almost lunchtime, but I'm going to go try to grab me a new iPhone and uh, Selma, and then I'm gonna meet back up with Dad. We got a couple of people gonna meet us this afternoon to talk about uh, cotton seed prices and um, soybean seed prices and varieties and stuff. So um, anyway, anyway, let's go see if we can get a phone, Lucy. What do you say? You good and dry or you wet? You like that kennel? All right, let's go. Bears, that's all. Huh? I think all we need is bears. I don't think you got in there good. Huh? You didn't get in there good. Well, well I want to knock the races out. Hey. Right. Then we wash it again. You know what? Put your rogator up. I don't know if you heard dad say it really doesn't look that bad. I think it was, it's just a bearing. I, we were thinking the uh, actual arm and all was wallowed out the whole, anyway, from flopping around was wallowed out, but it may be just in case of uh, get some new bearings and uh, that's all we got to replace. So that may be a really good thing. So let's move this rogator. where the seal's gonna go. But I think we can, we can polish that. The other side, there's nothing. See there? So what we need, we need a, a new pin, bearings, races, cup and cone, and then the, the seals that go on either side. Mm -hmm. And I think we're back in business. Well, I never would've thought that. Yeah, I know it, 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 it really, Made it cock over one bearing and torn up and it was leaning over bad. I mean, now, the way that thing looked, yeah. <laughs> we thought we were going to have to cut the leg and... Yeah, I was, I was thinking big job. Oh, is that the corn seed? BH Genetics. Oh, good. <laughs> Daniel's ready to unload. All right, where are you going to do it? I guess we'll put them back here first for today. Yeah, it's just so muddy. Corn seed is here. Huh? I said corn seed is here. 
Let's move your pick up and I'll raise this up and back in here. BH genetics. First first one to arrive, 2022. Let's get it unloaded. Well, we are out of time for this video, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. It turned out to be a really wet one uh, today. We are good and wet. Got rain coming tomorrow. Got rain coming Thursday. And I uh, got rain coming Friday. So, hopefully by then, it will move on out of here. And uh, we'll get some warmer, dry weather. And uh, we'll get back on, uh, back on track to plant some corn. But, but as for this video, guys, we are done. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch y'all on the next one. We are out.